Oh, hey, Callan. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good to see you. Hey, what's going on? With one in four Fairmont students suffering from trauma, Mr. Chapman has been looking for ways to help ease the children in their environment. The solution, it appears, comes in the form of the hospitality room. That's the question I'm giving to the kids, is how, how can we serve you? And we want them to understand, we do want to serve them. Yeah, we're, we want to educate them, we want to love them, but we want to, that's hospitality. So do you get to play basketball this year? Or? You're still too young, aren't you? I have to be in fifth grade. Fifth grade. In July, I came to Dr. Sapella and I, we sat down. I shared all this. I downloaded all this information to her of all these different meetings I had, all the books I had. And I said, I want to develop a room called the hospitality room. And as the superintendent, you know, she has a, a big uh, decision process there of, what do we want to do with this staff member? Uh, how do we help kids the most? And she says, let's do it. And it was be behind her, behind so many staff members, that we actually were able to develop the room that we're sitting in, the hospitality room, uh, that kids get to uh, come and get support and maybe sometimes re-engage with the classrooms, sometimes get some work done. And so that's, that's the genesis of the hospitality room. Upon entering the space, you feel an immediate sense of calmness that removes you from the busy school atmosphere, placing you into a kind of sensory oasis. The, the students' response as they uh, come into the room is very similar to the adults. Whoa! And, and they're, they're, they look around, and, but they're not overwhelmed because I don't have a lot of games. I don't have a lot of books. I don't have so many options. I don't have those things. I have a marker board. I have miniature marker boards. And I have about four or five different seats. And you could just choose one of them. When kids have gone through foster care, when kids have experienced divorce, when kids have experienced major life situations, it could even be um, uh, losing a home, dad lost a job, uh, could be not eating enough. All of those things will cause a kid uh, to not be regulated. And if a kid's not regulated, if a kid uh, doesn't have the ability uh, to come down in their excitement or their energy or their frustrations or their anger or whatever it might be, they're irregulated, we need to help get them regulated before they could be educated. You are a GE genius, aren't you? Yeah. For LUTN TV News, I'm Chris Patino.